Welcome everyone, thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. We're gonna talk about task list and task kill. I know they're really hard to say, especially one after another, but they're, uh, they're, they're two very useful utilities that I think you're gonna find a lot of use for, especially if you're going into uh, IT in any capacity, a technician, cybersecurity professional, none of that matters. You, you'll want it for all of those things. This is one of the most useful, most valuable uh, commands that we're gonna go over. Uh, I've gotten this in several interview questions. I've gotten this uh, particular command or these two particular commands um, in, in, in multiple interviews for that matter. So let's go over it really quick. I apologize for the, the thrashing of this keyboard. It is a little bit older of a keyboard and it is one of my favorites. So I am in a sandbox environment so that I can demonstrate this for you really quick. And uh, we're, we're gonna wanna have something that we can close down, something that we can work with. So. Let's go in and look at, um, uh, let's open up uh, a bunch of applications. So let's open up uh, a notepad. notepad. And I'm going to pin it to the, down here so we can see, we can just open up a bunch of these. So let's open up another one. We, can, we got a couple of them here. Okay, so we got three. So let's open up a bunch more. Open up Notepad. Okay, all right. So now we have all that, we have all that running in the background. So now we need to come down here and we need to click on the Start menu. You can also click on the Windows key on your keyboard. And we're gonna type CMD. And we're gonna run as administrator. I'm going to need to open this up for you just a little bit so that you can see. So let's, let's move it about there. That looks like you could read it. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go over quickly. We're going to go over two things, task list. And in my blog, I cover the flag V in task list. I don't really think that it's important here, but I'm going to show you really quickly that it does show a little bit more information. So let's go back up here. So when you run task list all by itself, it's going to show you the image name, which uh, is one of the uh, things we're going to want to we're going to remember for the future. And then it shows you your process ID, which is this little guy down here. So this one would be uh, process two hundred, process seven hundred four, so on. And we're not going to cover any of these other information here: session name, session number, and memory usage. But if we were to let's clear the screen real quick. CLS is what I ran to clear the screen, in case you're wondering. Now, if we run the flag V for verbose, scratch that keyboard. Okay, you can see that it's gonna show us quite a bit more. So, really, yeah, so it just a, a lot more information. Stuff that, I mean, frankly, we don't need for this particular thing, but it's, it's there in case you need it. I covered it in the blog, so I thought I'd cover it in the video as well. Let's clear that out again. Let's run just our task list. And let's go down to the bottom where our notepad most likely going to be. Okay, so we have our notepads right here. We can see that we are running. These are our process IDs all the way down to here. And if I'm running a command, and I'm going to show you this because I find it makes it a lot easier to use. We don't really need it in a scenario, honestly, because we can see the process IDs there. We can see notepad. We can see all that. But what if we wanted to... Um, um, organize what we need to see and and work with it in a, in a cleaner environment. So what we would run is we'd run task list and we're going to pipe that information. And so if you're not familiar with the pipe, it's this little character here. It's uh, usually shift and the character above your enter key if you're looking for it. And then we're going to use find string, which is str, and we're going to look for notepad. So this is going to make it a little bit clearer. Actually, you know what? Let's clear the screen and we'll run that again. And now it's a lot cleaner. It's it, we, we can focus just on what we're looking for. Now, if you had Notepad scattered amongst the list and you wanted it all so you could see it, that's the way to get it done. So let's talk about the first task kill command that we're going to work with. And we're going to we're going to identify the task we want to kill by its process ID. So we're going to do task kill. And we're going to we're going to set the flag for process ID or PID, and we're going to specifically, we're going to select the one specifically that we want. So the bottom one is 4572, 
and that's it. You're just going to run this command, and you're going to see that it successfully sent the termination signal to the process with process ID 4572. And if we list everything out again, we can see that it, it is no longer there. 4572 is missing. All right, good. We've got one. We've got one out. So, but what if you want to, to kill the process for every single one of Notepad's processes, but you don't want to go through and you want to do one at a time every single process. We don't want to do that. That's going to take too much time. So we're going to run task kill again, but this time we're going to run a flag of F for force. We're going to run a flag for how we're going to identify it. Instead of the process ID, we're going to, we're going to be attacking it through the image name. And that's the IM flag. And then we simply have to type in notepad. Now you don't have to write in .exe. I'm going to, but let's say if you wanted to kill notepad plus plus so you want to be careful so if you have other things running so you want to be specific exe i just totally ran that backwards okay and now we can see that all of them have been terminated so if we go back up to find string and we want to list out notepad again make sure that we got them all we can see that they all were removed and we, we see that it, they were successful but if we wanted to verify so this is the the basics for running these two commands they're really easy to run. There are a couple more things like I showed you before. If you want to see this in text form or if you want more information, feel free to comment or feel free to, to visit my blog and you can uh, ask questions there as well. I do respond to the questions. So if you have any questions, um, you may not. It's a fairly easy task, but th there's always things that I'm not thinking of that you might be. So anyway, thank you very much for visiting my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.